New at four, if you've started to find it hard to pay attention or even stay awake during video conference calls, you are not alone. It is apparently a real issue now dubbed Zoom fatigue. Action News' Sarah Bloomquist joins us live from home. With that, Sarah, I guess there's a limit to Zooming. Yeah, a lot of people experiencing this Zoom fatigue, Jeanette. We've had video conferencing tools for a while now. We FaceTime with family and friends from time to time. Maybe you video conference occasionally for work. But now so many more interactions are happening virtually because of this pandemic. It is proving what researchers have long known, that virtual interactions can be extremely hard on the brain, making you feel exhausted. Journalist Julia Sklar looked into this for National Geographic or Nat Geo as it's called. She said researchers have found that the brain is not getting the information it expects in a conversation. No hand gestures, body language, and facial expressions can be tough to see and to interpret. I talked to Julia from her apartment in Boston, ironically using Zoom. None of that really comes through over video, but your brain is expecting it to. And that is where the exhaustion sets in, is the sort of gap between expectation and reality. And it makes something like a video conversation sort of fall into what we might call an uncanny valley. So it seems very close to real life and our expectation of a real interaction, but it's not quite getting there. And that's where a lot of the exhaustion comes in is your brain sort of working over time to fill in the gaps and in information that it's expecting to get, but not getting. The Brady Bunch format, all those faces, also doesn't help you because your brain is trying to read so many faces all at one time. Interestingly, she found some people with autism are more comfortable with video interactions. It's clear when it's somebody's time to talk and things like hand gestures for some people with autism can be overstimulating. Maybe this Zoom fatigue will go away, will adapt, or maybe we'll just get back to making more phone calls.